All right, what is up? What is up? What is up, guys? Guys, here is the time for women's basketball history. Women's basketball history is going to be made today as the draft officially happens, guys. The draft has just kicked off, and we are going to be talking about each and every pick as they come through. Uh, so I hope that you all are excited about it. It is going to be very, very, very fun to watch. Um, everybody's here. Camilla's here. Angel's here. Caitlin is here. Um, everybody is here to watch uh, what will be uh, one of the greatest days in women's basketball today. Uh, so I hope you all are just as excited as I am. I really hope you are because I am like ecstatic right now. Absolutely ecstatic. Uh, for some reason, my YouTube TV just went off. It's very strange. That is very, very strange. My YouTube TV just went off. Uh, okay. I am... Okay, give me one second, guys. We are going... We're dealing with some technical difficulties. Um, just so you know... The Indiana Fever are now on the clock. The Indiana Fever are now on the clock. Um, and uh, this is the ultimate watch party with me, Clea. So we are going to be doing uh, the, entire, uh, the entirety, for the most part, for the WNBA draft. Uh, the Indiana Fever are now on the clock. And guys, we know the pick that they're going to have. We know it already. Uh, they are going to select uh, the, the phenom known as Caitlin Clark. Um, but we're going to just wait to make that official official. Uh, but they are now on the clock. And we will see uh, when they actually make that official. So, so yeah, she is, she is going to be... Uh, that pick when it actually happens, uh, she is just on her phone waiting, waiting to officially be announced as the pick. And guys, as the picks come through, uh, I will be showing them on on the screen so y'all can try to keep up. But for the first pick, we do have the Indiana Fever. Second pick goes to the LA Sparks. And then we just keep going down the line from there, right? Uh, I am very much excited about uh, the Chicago Sky. So I hope y'all are also excited about the Chicago Sky as I am, because I am like ecstatic about the Chicago Sky and the future that we have uh, with this team, because we're going to be pretty, you know, maybe rough for a little bit, uh, but the Chicago Sky is going to be ultimately a great team, a absolute great team. Uh, so yeah, they, uh, the Indian Fever are on the clock right now, and they are going to pick Caitlin Clark for sure. Uh, it's still not official yet, so we we can't we can't say it say it for sure just yet. But they're they're picking her for sure. Um, and again, as that happens, we will be documenting each and every uh, player. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen y'all comments. Yeah, y'all are y'all are like super super aesthetic in the chat, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And this is this is what women's basketball is all about, man. This is this is what we came here for. This is what we came here for. We came to witness the future. We came here to witness the future, and uh, I hope I hope y'all got y'all seat belts buckled because we about to have some fun. We we are about to have. Some fun in the chat. We're gonna do a little bit of a uh, of history as we as we go through the picks today, uh, because I know that some of y'all are new to women's basketball. I know some of y'all are new, and I and I do want to make sure that as we're sort of going through this, that you all sort of understand, like you know, just the history, just the history of the game, and and, and what has happened, and, and what and what possibly will happen in the future. All right, so I hope y'all are down for that. Uh, uh, Pretty Knoll Girl says they are showing little uh, Caitlin Clark. I mean, they're they're uh, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna really amp it up in a sec. 
they're gonna amp it up in a second. Um, they just keep, they just keep waiting. They keep waiting and make it official, uh, cause we all know it. It's gonna be official. We all know it. We all know it. Okay, Kathy. Kathy is at the stand. Kathy's at the stand, guys. She is at the stand. All right. All right, it's about to be official, guys. I mean, I'm excited about who that number three pick is going to be. I, I am, I am so ecstatic about that number, that number uh, three pick for the Chicago Sky. I am so excited about it. It's going to be, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a very, very good time. This is the future. This is the future. Uh, Florida Georgia says, Quit, is this the first uh, ever awesome people of the internet watch party or have you done this? I haven't done this before for uh, for um, the WNBA draft. So yeah, I think this is kind of a first, kind of. Guys, for copyright reasons, I can't actually show the game itself. I mean, the... the um, show the, the actual um, draft itself. But as the picks come through, I'm gonna show them on the screen so we all can, can take a look and see who the, per who the people are. I mean, let's go, let's start that campaign right now. Let's start that campaign. Let's start that campaign. <laughs> I, I am waiting for, her, for Kathy Engelbert, the commissioner of uh, the WNBA to stop talking so we can, so we can actually, uh, get to uh, Caitlin Clark as the number one pick. Oh my goodness. She's giving, she's giving a, a, a reflecting lesson uh, about, about the WNBA guys. <laughs> People are like, come on. I, I, I want to. <laughs> People are ready for the picks. People are ready for the picks. Guys, I know I talked about uh, who I thought was going to get picked where. Uh, we did this yesterday, but as a reminder, here's who I have. Here's who I have as my picks, all right? Those are who I have. Uh, I have Caitlin going number one, Cameron Brink going number two, um, Camilla Cardoso going number three, Rakia Jackson number four, Alyssa Peely number five, J.C. Sheldon number six, Angel Reese number seven, um, Aaliyah Edwards eight, Elizabeth Kitley nine, DeAsia Fair ten, Nika Mule, 11, Charisma Osborne, 12. That's who I have as my picks. And we're going to see how right or wrong I am. We're going to see. We're going to see as it goes on. So y'all are going to keep me honest. Oh, now, now it's official that Indiana's on the clock. Okay. All right. It is now official. Indiana, the Indiana Fever are now on the clock. They are now on the clock. Yeah, I got my handy dandy water here to keep me company as we as we go through this. All right. And again, guys, the fever is rebuilding. The fever is rebuilding and rebuilding really, really, really fast. Um, when we take a look at the players that uh, that they have. Um, when we take a look at the, at the players that they've drafted over the years, they're looking to get better, right? You have Nalissa Smith, you have Aaliyah Boston, you have Kelsey Mitchell, um, you have Grace Berger as a, as a player who's who's on um, uh, who's going to be coming off the bench. Now, adding a player like a Caitlin Clark is just going to be absolutely, absolutely huge, absolutely huge for the game of women's basketball, um, and I just can't wait. I just, I just absolutely can't wait until it actually becomes official where um, we will see uh, Caitlin Clark joining the Indiana Fever. Guys, uh, there are lots of coaches that are, that are in the building and representing, and, and representing for their squad. Um, Utah. Oh, here, com here, here comes Kathy Engelbert. All right. The Indiana Fever. Select 
Of course, Caitlin Clark is your number one pick. It's obvious. We all knew it. We all knew it. Caitlin Clark, the number one pick in the 2024 WNBA draft, gets hugs from her family. And uh, guys, it's happened. The thing I, I told y'all, like there was some people who was like, no, Caitlin's not going to go number one. And I was like, no, it's no way. It's no way Caitlin does not go number one. She's the number one pick, you know? Um, and, and she's doing her thing. She's absolutely doing her thing. And so shout out to Caitlin Clark. Congratulations. Um, we will see how the rest of the picks fare. Uh, but we do have Caitlin Clark as the number one pick in the WNBA draft. Again, to me, not a surprise at all. Not a surprise. She's earned it. She has had a phenomenal college career. We've seen, we've seen what she's done. Over 30 points a game. You know, she just, she's a, she is a scoring savant. She can um, pass the ball like crazy. And she's going to have a great time, you know. She's already had endorsements from uh, Indiana uh, companies already. And now just, uh, you know, she's just getting more. She's gonna, just going to get more and more and more and more because Caitlin Clark is her. She is. Caitlin Clark is her. And I can't wait to continue to see her play. Um, I, I, th I think she is going to have a great WNBA career. A great WNBA career. So, yeah, this is, a, this is a goal that Caitlin Clark said she had when she was younger. She said she had a goal of making it to the WNBA. And, guys, dreams come true. Look at that. Dreams come, dreams come true. They come true. And she made it happen. Caitlin Clark, number one pick. So yeah, guys, let me know. In the, let me know in the chat. How how excited are you about uh, Caitlin Clark going over to the Indiana Fever? Because they really do need it. Like, are there any any uh, Caitlin Clark fans in the chat? Any K Caitlin Clark fans in the chat? Let me know uh, what this means to you. Let me know what this means to you. Because she is a Indiana Fever player. So I, I am I am uh, very 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 much excited about this. You know she has played really hard. You know she's earned the spot, and I, I think she's gonna grow into she's already, but is gonna grow into even more being a great ambassador for the game of women's basketball. You know she that's just what he, that's just what she does. And it's exciting to see, and I am very much excited that Caitlin Clark is joining the WNBA. Yeah, Earlis, Caitlin and Aaliyah Boston, wild. It's going to be wild. It is going to be wild. So uh, enjoy it, guys. Caitlin Clark, number one draft pick. We're going to see where else everybody else goes. All right, Caitlin Clark to the Indiana Fever. Next up, we have the LA Sparks. They are on the clock. We will see where they go. We're going to see. I, I see people in the chat saying um, Angel at number two. Camila Cardoso could be number two. I have Cameron Brink going at number two. So we're going to see. We we are we are going to see where these players go. We're gonna see. And of course, uh, y'all, Jake from State Farm is so interesting. This man, this man has taken being in a commercial and built an entire career out of it. An entire career. It's it's kind of it's kind of crazy to see uh to see the plight of Jake from State Farm.
Hold on, guys. We'll be right back. Right, guys. The LA Sparks are now on the clock, everybody. They are now on the clock. Alicia, I wonder if Jake from State Farm actually, uh, uh, I wonder if his first name actually is Jake from State Farm. I wonder. Guys, we got this fake DJ academics in the chat. <laughs> Oh, man. Mr. Johnson says the highest paid player uh, made $242,000 last year. That was Erica Wheeler. Um, Caitlin Clark should get millions right now. She's going to get millions in, in terms of endorsements. Absolutely. In terms of endorsements, she's going to be making millions. Facts. Absolutely. Um, but it's going to take a long time for the WNBA to actually pay a salary of a million dollars because that's going to require a lot more, uh, money from, from the league, which means what in the world? Walk. I don't understand. Uh, Weird. Um, I, th I think it's possible that we could see um, a player like uh, Caitlin make a lot of like a lot, a lot, a lot of money. But it's going to take it's going to take more support. It's going to take more people buying tickets to go to WNBA games. That's what it's going to take. That is that is what's going to what it's going to take. So, you know. Guys, support the WNBA. Support the WNBA. Uh, the LA Sparks is on the clock, so we will see. We will see who they pick. Um, I have them picking uh, Cameron Brink, but we will see. We will see who they pick. We will. We will see who who they end up picking. But guys, in the chat, let me know who y'all who y'all think we get. They gonna get. Uh, Joy, uh, Joyce, Joy says Cardoso. Um, all right, six two is hard to pass up. Cardoso goes number two. I, you're you're right though. Six two really is six two is very very hard to pass up. Very hard to pass up. But you know, we're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna see. Uh, what does what does the um what does the LA Sparks do? What do they do? The pick is in, though, guys. We are waiting for Kathy Engelbert to uh, come on stage to actually make it public who uh, who they are selecting. Uh, but the pick is in. All right? The pick is in for um, the L.A. Sparks. So so we're, we're going to wait and see. I, I, I think uh, um, Crystal says, as a Chicago Sky fan, I'm scared they are picking Rakia Jackson at two. I'm cool with them picking Rakia Jackson at two. I'm cool with them picking uh, Cameron Brink at two. I, I want Cardoso to be with the Chicago Sky. I mean, yes, I would love Rakia Jackson to be with the Chicago Sky as well. But, like, again, someone said it in the chat, 6-2 is 6-2. All right, the pick is in. Told y'all, I, 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 knew, I knew it was happening. Cameron Brink is going to the LA Sparks. I, I, I had the graphic all ready to go. So number two, number two for the WNBA, number two pick for the 2024 WNBA draft goes to Miss Cameron Brink 
from Stanford. Y'all, Cameron Brink is phenomenal. She is, in my opinion, the best. She was the best defender in women's college basketball this season. Uh, she is a player that just, she does her thing, y'all. She absolutely does her thing. And she's a fun, she's a fun player to watch. Um, she can do lots of different scoring. And y'all, she has like probably like the coolest outfit of everybody. She like if y'all y'all see Cameron Brink outfit right now? Do y'all see her outfit? I was like, man, that's a nice outfit. But I was like, hey, you better watch where you step in that outfit. You better watch where you step. Cause that can go way, way wrong. Um, but shout out to Cameron Brink. She is headed to the LA Sparks. I mean, I expected it. I expected it because the LA Sparks, they don't just want a big, they don't just want a big, they want a, um, big that can do just about everything. And that's Cameron Brink. Cameron Brink can, can back up, um, and, and, and post you down and, and make some stuff happen. Cameron Brink can step out, hit a jumper. Cameron Brink can even go even further and step out and hit a three. You know, so she can do just about everything. She can do just about everything. And I, and I think, I really do think she is the perfect evolution of bigs for the LA Sparks. When you talk about the LA Sparks, you have, uh, you have Lisa Leslie, who started everything with the LA Sparks. Then you have uh, Candace Parker. Then Neka Agumake. Now here comes the next evolution of of the uh, of the LA Sparks, and so yeah, I mean I am pretty I'm pretty excited about it. I th I think this is a great move for LA, absolutely great move for LA. Um, I think I think it's gonna be awesome. I I I, re I really do. Um, this is the evolution of LA Sparks basketball and. They are ecstatic, ecstatic about it, and I, you know, you know. Also, also, you know, she went to school right up the street. So, in terms of a, a marketing perspective, in terms of a engagement perspective of the players' um, uh, home school, I think it makes sense as well. I think it makes a lot of sense. But guys, we got nine hundred people in the chat. But guys, we only got one hundred and fifty-six likes. If y'all could hit that like button right now, that would be phenomenal. Please hit that like button. I make content all about women's basketball. So if y'all are interested in that, please, please hit that like button. Please support me. Guys, we, the Chicago Sky, the, 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 the place that I have on my, on my shirt right now, the Chicago Sky is the number three pick. They are up right now. Uh, they are on the clock. And we're going to see. It took a lot of, it, 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 it absolutely took a lot of, um, did I say uh, Cardozo? Uh, Cardozo was uh, six two. No, she's six seven. Um, I didn't mean I didn't mean to say that. If 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 that's what if that's what I said. Um, CAC says Chicago. Are you ready, Queen? I'm ready. Let let's get us let's get ourselves some Miss Camilla Cardoso. Cardozo. Um, somebody um corrected me in the, in the chat saying it's at, it the S is actually a Z, uh, in Portuguese. Uh, so it's Cardozo. Um, so I am trying to correct myself as we, as we continue on here. So my hope is Camilla Cardozo going to the Chicago sky. We have a new coach in Teresa Weatherspoon. Uh, she is the, the player who had the legendary heave ho for the, for the, um, the New York Liberty. She is ushering into a new era for the Chicago sky. And as a sky fan, as a sky lifer, I'm going to ride with it. I'm going to ride with whatever, um, you know, Teaspoon wants to do. And I'm excited, man. I am so excited. Carmela, what's up? What's up, Carmela? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's sky time. It is sky time. ASU, thank you so much for the super chat. Says, what's up, awesome people of the internet? Smash that like. Thank you, Quita, for the awesome content. Thank you so much, ASU, for rocking with me. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Um, Appreciate that super chat. Really helps helps the channel a lot. Uh, I, <laughs> I I am a pink devil. Is back <laughs> with the super sticker saying with the uh, Sheba dog saying good job while raising his thumb up. Thank you so much for that super chat, guys. We about to see. We about to see because the thing is, 
I want Cardozo and I want Angel Reese on the same team. That's what I want. All right, guys. Kathy Engelbert is back. Who, who are we picking? Who are we picking? Y'all, I was right. Camilla, Camilla. Camilla, Camilla. Let's go. Camilla Cardozo. Chicago is welcoming you with open arms. We are so happy that you are going to be in a sky uniform. We get in your jersey. We are showing up at these games, and we are, hey, man, we, we about to cheer you on, Camilla. So welcome, 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 welcome to Skytown, Camilla Cardozo. Oh, I am so excited, guys. I wanted Camilla to be the number three spot. I wanted her to be, and guys, it was just announced that Camilla Cardozo is joining the Chicago Sky. So I am, y'all, I'm about to do a happy dance. I'm about to do a happy dance. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. Let's go. Teresa Weatherspoon, um, uh, Dwayne Wade, uh, uh, GM Jeff P. Great job. Great, great job in selecting Camilla Cardozo. She is the future for the bigs for the Chicago sky. She is. I am so, so, so excited about this guys. Um, you know, I, I, I was, yeah, they, you know, they showing, they showing the sky right now and they happy about it. Let's go Camilla. Y'all, if y'all want to come to Chicago, and come to a game to support Camilla Cardozo. Hey, we welcome you. We're gonna we're gonna have you know we're gonna have some meetups. We're going to have uh, some opportunities uh, for engagement uh, at Chicago Sky Games because guys, I am at every single Sky game, every single Sky home game. I'm there, and so I like so if you're going to a game, if you're going to a Sky game. Reach out. Let me know because, hey, we're going we gonna to kick it. We're going to kick it, okay? All right? We're going to kick it at some Sky Games, and we are going to cheer on Miss Camilla Camilla. Um, so, yeah, it's very exciting. I do believe that Rikia Jackson will be selected as the fourth pick to the L.A. Sparks. That is what I am projecting. Uh, we will see what happens, but that is, that is who I have as the, um, as the fourth pick. I do have... Rakia Jackson going to the LA Sparks. We will see uh, who the LA Sparks pick for that fourth pick because, again, it is the LA Sparks with that fourth pick, and then the Dallas Wings have the fifth pick, um, the Washington Mystics have the sixth pick, and then my Chicago Sky is back with the seventh pick. So, guys, Camilla, we are happy to have you. Gamecock Nation, support your girl. Support your girl as she goes to the Chicago Sky. And uh, Sky fans got her. But uh, but Gamecock fans, y'all, hey, y'all, y'all need to get y'all selves some uh, tickets as well. Get y'all selves um some um some Sky tickets right now. All right, all y'all South Carolina fans, get y'all tickets. Okay. All right, I am I am so excited, so 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 excited about this, y'all. I got people texting me already about the Chicago Sky in this big. <laughs> Oh man, I am so ecstatic. Um, so yeah. Camilla, welcome. Next up is the LA Sparks. We will see who they pick. I do believe the LA Sparks will pick Rakia Jackson. Rakia Jackson is phenomenal. She is, in my opinion, like a uh, a Kalia Copper 2.0. Or, or just a, you know, just just a, a different version of Kalia Copper. Not in, not in a, not in a way that she's better than Kalia Copper. That's not what I'm saying. But just like a, like she she has a Kalia Copper esque game. We will see. Pick is in. With the fourth pick, the LA Sparks. Who they get? Dojo had the graphic ready. Rakia Jackson is heading to the LA Sparks. Y'all, she looks like an LA girl. Look, look at look at the look that Rakia Jackson has with the shades and the hair and the and the 
and the the, the sparkly outfit. Like she look like Rakia Jackson looks like she is made to 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 look uh to 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 be a Cali girl. She's she's made to be a Cali girl. She's gonna rock out with the LA Sparks. LA Sparks fans, y'all are getting an amazing, phenomenal, phenomenal player. You're getting a, a phenomenal player. And I hope LA Sparks fans um, understand who they are getting and they are excited about it. Because Rakia Jackson is the real deal. She is the real deal when it comes to women's basketball. So I hope, I hope y'all are excited about it because uh, she's going to do her thing. She's going to do her thing with the Chicago, with, uh, I was about to say the Chicago Sky, <laughs> with the LA Sparks. Uh, so yeah, y'all have Cameron Brink and Rakia Jackson. I, I think that's a phenomenal mix. I think it's a phenomenal mix. So guys, uh, we do have the fifth pick coming up and the fifth pick is, uh, you know, that is, uh, that is the Dallas Wings. So yesterday I did say, I thought that Alyssa Peely could be that fifth pick. Now I'm actually kind of going back on my thoughts. I'm now kind of thinking JC Sheldon may actually get that, uh, that fifth pick, but we will see. We will, we will see. We will see. But y'all, uh, Sparks, uh, Sp uh, Spark players, you know, they they excited about it. They they are excited about it. Let's go, Miss Rakia Jackson. Uh, SP says Sparks has seventeen players now. They're about to cut five or six players now. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna cut players. Uh, once guys, the training camp is training camp is gonna start very very soon. Once the training camp uh, starts for teams, that's when they start cutting. That's when you'll start see. Uh, that's when you'll start to see uh, cuts happen. Okay, um, so yeah, but for sure, but for sure, for sure, for sure, Rakia Jackson is absolutely making the team because she is phenomenal. And guys, if y'all have, there's a lot of people who have not watched Rakia Jackson play this season um, because y'all don't watch Tennessee play. But y'all, you're in for a an amazing player. Okay, so so all y'all Sparks fans that are watching, actually, if y'all a Sparks fan, let me know. Let me know in the chat if y'all if y'all are a Sparks fan. Uh, yeah, training camp is about to start. Yeah, yeah. Michaela says Rakia and Cam are going to be looking scary. Absolutely, absolutely. And guys, if y'all could hit that like button, that would be phenomenal. It took me a long time to to get these graphics like ready to go and like immediately. Uh, uh, make it making the um, the graphic pop up. Uh, so yeah, if y'all could if y'all could could uh, could support me by uh, by um, hitting that like button, that would be again that would be absolutely positively phenomenal. Okay, I do thank y'all so so much in advance for hitting that like button. But guys, let me know in the chat who do y'all have going in at number five? Who do y'all have? Who do y'all have going in, going in at number five? Who do you have at that number five spot? Who do you have? Let me know in the chat. And we and we gonna and we gonna see. We're gonna see. Okay, we got uh Keith said he's a Sparks fan. All right. Uh Leek says the price just went up. Um Dolores says she's awesome. She is, she is, she is awesome. Uh, Frank, oh, Frank has a suggestion for the new Bay Area team. He says Bay Area Breeze. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, I like it. Uh, Theo, let's hope not. <laughs> Theo says Angel at number five to the wings. Let's hope not. Um, I don't think that, da I don't think Dallas needs any more bigs. I don't think they need it. As a Sky fan, I hope they do not select injuries. I hope. <laughs> Luminera says uh, they're going to pick Aaliyah Edwards. Uh, Roslyn says Angel's up next. Uh, Keith says Edwards. Deborah says Edwards. Rodney says Angel. Uh, B-Girl1214 says where does the, where does a French player fit in? I didn't account for her. I don't know where she fits in, to be honest with you. Um, I did not follow. I don't follow uh, French basketball for the most part. Um, so I don't really know who she is. 
um, and how good she is. So, guys, actually, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Um, and I and I didn't put any of uh, not I didn't put any non NCAA players in my um, in my um, uh, WNBA uh, mock draft because I don't really follow them like that. So I can't I can't talk about something that I don't I don't really know. Uh, so that's why. Uh, Brie Love says, go L.A. Sparks. I agree, Mr. Born and Win. The wins got way too many bigs. I agree. Guys, make sure y'all get WNBA League Pass. Make sure y'all get it. All right? Make sure y'all get it. ASU says, W needs more teams. I nominate Toronto and Denver. Well, they tried. Um, Michael, I, <laughs> I would say just mute your TV and watch along, but mute your TV and just listen to this. <laughs> but no, you know, you know sh shout, out to, shout out to Holly Rowe. I mean, the thing is, y'all, Holly Rowe is like a, kind of like an OG in the game of women's basketball in terms of her being a, being a commentator. But I do, I do understand uh, folks and, and, you know, talk about her, some of the questions she asks and some, sometimes whatnot, but, but y'all, you know, shout out to Holly Rowe. Like I, you know, I, re I remember watching the WNBA and, um, and, you know, when I was younger seeing a Holly Rowe and, I was like, man, I would love to do that job. You know, like, like I, I've always, I've always uh, looked at, uh, looked at what she's done, and I've, I've always wanted to be that. You know, I, 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 I did. I always wanted to be that. Um, I always wanted to be like a commentator who could, uh, or, or a question asker. Um, guys, the pick is now in. Let's see. Y'all, I changed my mind at the last second. I updated that graphic, and now it is official. J.C. Sheldon is going to the Dallas Wings. J.C. Sheldon is going to the Dallas Wings. She is a, a phenomenal, phenomenal player that played at Ohio State. And, y'all, if y'all don't know J.C. Sheldon, J.C. Sheldon is a player who is technically a shooting guard, but can play the point. And that is one of the things that um, that this Ohio State, I mean, this Ohio State, this Dallas Wings team needs. Dallas has a lot of shooters, have a lot of players. Greg Bibb wants more shooters, absolutely. But they also need someone who could play that point guard position. And J.C. Sheldon can do that. She can, um, she can do that in terms of um, uh, playing that point. And also, defensively, defensively, she can do her thing. Uh, she can absolutely, absolutely do her thing defensively. So, so guys, it was a last-second decision where yesterday, yesterday I did say Alyssa Peely, but then today I was like, actually, actually, no, I'm saying J.C. Sheldon. And we, I updated the graphic just in time so I could quickly put it up there. But, yes, J.C. Sheldon is going to the Dallas Wings. Um, she is a player who is, you know, who, who has been great defensively. Uh, and when it, when it came to offense, guys, she had 31 points in the game this season. You know, she she's a player who, on average, uh, this season has averaged 17.8 points a game. You know, she can she can shoot, <laughs> and, and and also not only can she shoot regular shots, she can shoot three pointers as well. Um, she's 50 percent from the field, 37 uh, percent from the three point line. So not the most efficient, efficient three point shooter, but, but if she gets, if she gets an open shot, she's probably going to make it. Oh, and her sister's there. Y'all, she, I really love the relationship that JC has, has with her, with her sister. I hope that her sister is able to go to a lot of the games. Um, because yeah, her sister seems really, really awesome. Uh, K Mora says, I think we're taking Aaliyah next. I think actually, I think, I think you may be right about that. Um, so yeah, the next, the next pick, the next pick in the WNBA draft is going to be the Washington Mystics. It is 
it is possible that they pick Aaliyah Edwards. It is very much possible that they pick Aaliyah Edwards. I hope they pick anybody not named uh, Injuries. <laughs> I, I hope they pick any player not named Injuries. All right. Um, but yeah, we go. <laughs> Angel Ness just needs to hold out for one more pick. Just hold out for one more pick. One more pick, girl. And, uh, 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 you know, we're going to, we're going to rock out with you. Okay. We're going to rock out with you. So yeah, um, JC Sheldon, again, JC Sheldon goes to the, the, um, Dallas wings. They need, more shooting because they always need more shooting. Um, and also they really do need someone who could play that point guard position. And I do believe JC can do that. I do believe that she can do that. So yeah, guys, let me, let me know in the chat. How, uh, how, how was the draft turning out versus, uh, what you projected? All right. Let me, let me know in the chat. Um, has this turned out the way you thought it was going to turn out? Oh, the pick is in. With the sixth pick. Y'all, Aaliyah Edwards is going to... The Washington Mystics, I got that graphic ready. Boom, Aaliyah Edwards to the Washington Mystics. That means that, uh, that means the injuries is going to Chicago Sky. <laughs> Aaliyah Edwards, Canada's own, Aaliyah Edwards is phenomenal. Like y'all, if y'all have seen what Aaliyah Edwards did um, for the last several years at UConn, you know how great of a player she is. You know. You know how great of a player she is. She's a player who can back you down and score. She's a player who can who can get some jump shots as well and score. And, you know, her her, her UConn coaches are there. You know, of course, you got to get a hug from Gino and and uh, look like AZ and um, Paige are in the building. They support their teammate. But, yeah, shout out to Aaliyah Edwards. She about to do her thing. She is about to do her thing for uh for the Washington Mystics. Um y'all, it's going to be Shakira Austin and Aaliyah Edwards. Shakira Austin's the center uh for the Washington Mystics. Now you're going to have Aaliyah Edwards as that that power forward. I I think is I think I think she's about to be really good. I think she's about to be really 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 good for um for uh the 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 Washington Mystics. So, shout out shout out to uh, you know, Shout out to Aaliyah Edwards. Shout out to Aaliyah Edwards. Shout out to UConn, Husky Nation. Shout out to all of Canada. Shout out to Nolan. Uh, Nolan is one of our uh, Canadian friends. Um, that's an awesome person of the internet. This fan 9212 thank you for the super chat, says what a couple of days has been for Caitlin Clark. Absolutely. It has been, it has been a wild ride for Caitlin Clark, and she is... You know, she's a player who has handled everything with, like, such grace and class. And I, you know, I just love it. Like, I think Caitlin Clark is phenomenal. Uh, Repeat Tour, a.k.a. Michael, uh, says, Camilla, Quita, see you at the first home game. Oh, you, Michael, you going to the first home game? Okay. Okay, so, so guys, we, we may actually have to do a meetup at the first home game for the Chicago sky. We may have to do it. So, so let put in the chat, put in the chat. If you do plan on going to the, to a Chicago sky game, um, because we can get it figured out. We, there's a, there's, uh, um, you know, bars and restaurants right, right around the corner from rent trust arena. We can do a meetup either before or after the game. Um, so yeah, let me know in the chat if y'all are willing to make a trek to Chicago to go to a sky game. Cause guys, again, I'm at every single game, so we can do meetups, Whenever y'all want, really. We can do meetups whenever y'all want because I'll be there. I will I will be there for sure. Uh, Rasheen, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Rasheen says, I'm a Liberty fan, but if Reese goes to the sky, I'll rock with the legendary coach Teaspoon. Yeah. I mean, because uh, Rasheen, like, you're, you know, 
Teresa Weatherspoon is a legend for Liberty fans. She's a legend. And so, yeah, even though, you know, Angel may not be going to your, your, your place, uh, having her, um, having Teaspoon a Liberty legend, yes, that is a reason for you to subscribe. Look, look at Paige looking like a proud mama. Look at <laughs> y'all, pa Paige is in the crowd just uh, <laughs> get, getting video. She looking like a proud mama. Um, Chicago Sky, y'all bet not let us down, okay? You bet not let us down. The people want Angel Reese. So Dwayne Way, uh, GM Jeff P, if you do not get Angel Reese, we riot. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Honestly, whoever they pick, I'm supporting, but I just hope it's Angel Reese. <laughs> All right. I just, I just hope. Um, Muriel said, did Angel Reese get drafted yet? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, but I am projecting her to be the seventh pick in the WNB draft. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm the, I'm the, uh, Kojo says, I feel like the real winner of the WNBA um, lottery this year is Quiddy Los Morris. <laughs> Honestly, okay, guys, if, if, if I am right and if Andrew Reese goes to the Chicago Sky at number seven, guys, I have, I do feel like a huge winner because I said this, I made a video about it, I made an appeal. We started a petition to get Andrew Reese to go to the Chicago Sky. We started a petition. And uh, if I am right, and if they pick her at that seventh uh, spot, um, okay, the pick is in. Whew. Stressful, stressful, stressful. All right. With the seventh pick, let's see. Let's go! The Bayou Barbie, the Shattown Barbie. It is official, guys. Angel Reese is going to Chicago. Angel Reese is going to Chicago. I am so, 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 so excited. Guys, if y'all are happy about Angel Reese going, going to Chicago, hit that like button, y'all. Hit that like button. Let's get to 600 likes. Y'all, her whole back out. I didn't, re <laughs> I didn't realize her whole back was out. <laughs> Go ahead, stretch your stuff, Angel Reese. Stretch your stuff, man. Like, let's go. Angel Reese, the Shattown Barbie. I am so excited, guys. Guys, once it's on sale, I am getting me a Camilla Cardozo jersey. I am getting me an Angel Reese jersey. I understand that, yes, they don't make money off of, off of that. But I'm also, once they make some merch that's specific to the Chicago Sky, once, once uh, Angel does that, you know, she needs to get her a shirt that says the Chi-Town Barbie. I'm buying that. Camilla Cardozo, get your merch for the Chicago, like create some merch that's Chicago Sky related. I am buying that. I am supporting. I am 10 toes down with these players. 10 toes down. Angel Reese is the player I wanted. I wanted Angel Reese. I made it a video about it. And guys, we have been heard. Our petition has been heard. The Chicago Sky select Miss Angel Reese. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I I am I am so excited. Shattown Barbie, stand up. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, I don't think y'all understand how excited I am. I I, I don't think y'all understand. I like I, I told y'all, I don't care who wins for women's college basketball. I don't. I don't care. I don't care who wins. But when it comes to the WNBA, yes, I, I, I watch all games. I literally watch just about every single game there is for the WNBA, regardless of whose team it is. But my special focus is on the Chicago Sky. I want the Chicago Sky to be a great, um, a great team. You know, this is where I'm from. Like, I, I want to cheer on the best. And uh, when you talk about the Chicago Sky, we needed a defining center. We got that in Camila Cardoso. We needed a player who is has a engine that don't stop. Kalia Copper was that engine for the Chicago Sky. She was the engine that never quit. Now we have Miss Angel Reese, who not only not only can get just about any rebound possible, she can score the basket and also also 
Angel Reese is a is a team player. She's a player who, you know, y'all say whatever y'all want to say about Angel Reese. Y'all talk whatever smack y'all want to talk about Angel Reese. Angel Reese is a team player. You can tell how much love and respect she has for her teammates. You under you you can tell like what how she sort of like um, fins the blame when stuff happens. Like there is so much about Angel Reese that I love, and I am just so so ecstatic, guys. Um, you know Angel Reese, if you are listening to this, Angel Reese, we are excited about you. We welcome welcome you with open arms. Welcome to Chicago. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are we are rocking with you. We rocking with you. Ten toes down. Shatown Barbie, it is your time to shine. It's your time. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So so yeah, get get your get your merch together. Uh get get something, get something Chicago specific. And hey, we, we buying that stuff up. Okay. We buying that stuff up. All right. So so uh, you know, LSU Tiger fans. Come rock with your girl. Come come rock with your girl, okay? LS, if y'all are LSU Tiger fan, come rock with me, okay? Because we got your girl on our team, all right? If you if you a South Carolina Gamecock fan, come rock with me, okay? Because we got your girl too, okay? <laughs> like, let's freaking go. I just put out a video earlier today about the sky drafting Camila Cardoso and injuries. Me and my mama was just talking about this yesterday. We was just talking about this. And how we were both so excited about the possibility of getting Camilla at number three and um, Angel Reese at number seven. And, and whew, guys, I'm excited. This, this worked out. This worked out well. This worked out very, very well for us. It worked out so, so well. Uh, Breezy Pressure says, I know you happy, Quita. You definitely called it. I am now a Sky fan. I need to do my research. Yeah, yeah. Do your research on the Chicago Sky. Because we got a new look to our team. We got a brand, 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 brand new look for our team, okay? And when I say brand new, I mean brand new. All right. So, guys, we do have the, the eighth pick that's up for grabs right now. The eighth pick is up for grabs. Um, I'm not sure exactly where who, who gets this. Like, I don't know if they decide to go, like, with the Elizabeth Kitley, you know, and have her just sit out a year or, like, I'm not quite sure. This is the this going to be the first one that I actually won't have a graphic really. Well, here, I'm, I'll just, I'm going to say maybe Kitley, maybe. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, you know. Uh, it would be nice for them to get a point guard. I do think they need that. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure if Nika Mule goes that high up. I am I am not sure if Nika Mule goes all, goes all the way at eight. Um, but yeah, we gonna see. We gonna see. Uh, who who, who y'all get? Who y'all get for uh for uh Minnesota? Um, Jeremy got uh Peely Hassan says the French player. Okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna see. We are going to see. Guys, if y'all get that like button, that would be phenomenal. We got eleven hundred people in the chat, y'all. I thank y'all so so much for rocking with me. I, I really do. Like, guys, uh, I don't take this for granted. Like, literally eleven hundred people in the chat talking about um, listening to people talk about women's basketball. Like, w what an amazing day! What an amazing day! Who they picking? The Minnesota Lynx select. Alyssa Peely is heading to the the um, Minnesota Lynx. Let's go, Alyssa Peely, y'all. Um, I think this is a huge move for Minnesota. I think this is a great move for Minnesota because Alyssa Peely is a player that is going to trans transition into a small four, in my opinion. She's going to tra transition into a small forward. And, y'all, I got the graphic up. I got the graphic up. Alyssa Peely is going number eight. Number eight. Her coaches gave her a hug. Alyssa Peely, shout out to you. Um, y'all, she, she's wearing a, a 
a, a, a tribal inspired dress. Um, she just, you know, shout out to Alaska. Shout out to you, the Utah Utes. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Alyssa Peely. Shout out, man. Shout out. Um, Alyssa Peely is a player who, when you talk about a, 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 a tough player, Alyssa Peely is a player she can, she can, she has footwork like nobody's business. Footwork like nobody's business, but she won't be a post player in the WNBA, of course. She's going to transition into a small forward. So having a small forward that actually has post uh, post uh, moves is going to be huge for the Minnesota Lynx. Uh, because, yes, they do have a good amount of post players already. Um, but having her on the squad, I think, really does some things for them. Also, the fact that Alyssa Peely can knock down three-point shots. I think that's phenomenal. I, I think I absolutely think that is phenomenal. phenomenal. So shout out to Alyssa Peely. Um, the thing that she's going to for sure have to work on is her speed. And I think going to a program like a Minnesota, Co Coach Cheryl Reeve, she knows how to develop players. She's been a coach in the WNBA for a long, long, long time. And that's for a reason. That is absolutely for a reason because she knows. Um, she, she, she knows how to develop. And Alyssa Peely is a player who has a lot, a lot of the intangibles already. And I think all she needs is that just increased speed, and she's going to be great. She's going to be great. Um, Kyra says the Lynx are back. Yeah, yeah, the Lynx are back, man. The, Lyn the Lynx are back. Let's go, Kyra. Let's go. Um, Carmela says they refuse to let that girl be 5'10 in peace. <laughs> I know, right? I know. <laughs> Jack says, I'm officially a Lynx fan. When are the jerseys available? We'll see. We'll see. Um, we have to rely on Nike uh, for jerseys. And so we're going to see what Nike decides to do. We're going to see. We're going to see. Leak says, I'm officially a Chicago Sky fan. Let me get my merch. Yeah. I'm just saying. I, I, guys... Mm -mm -mm. I, I am, I am through the moon today. Um, I'm, I'm through the moon. I, I, I think, I think this has been a phenomenal draft already. And I do believe that every single player that has been drafted this, uh, so far, all eight of these players that have been drafted so far, I believe they're all making a roster. They're all going to make a roster because they're all that good. And they're going to programs that actually can use them. And so, all right, ninth pick from Dallas. Who were they getting? All right, Carla Lee from France is heading to the Dallas Wings. Carla Lee from France. Carla Leap from France is heading over to the um, the Dallas Wings. Guys, she is a French player. She is a point guard. And um, we, we talk about uh, them needing a point guard. They did get J.C. Sheldon, who could be a point guard at times. But Carla Leap um, could be their point guard of the future. Um, so shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, the Dallas Wings. I, again, I don't know that much about Carla Leet. Um, I do know that she is an elite uh, point guard right now. Uh, she is five foot six or five foot nine, I should say. Um, she can score the basketball as well. Um, so yeah, Carla Leet is your ninth pick to the Dallas Wings. Um, oh, uh, Carla Leet is heading to the Dallas Wings. All right. Um, so yeah, I, I think, I think Dallas has gotten, has gotten what they needed. I think, I think they've gotten what they needed. Um, all right. So, uh, Carla Leet is going to try to build something at uh, with the Dallas Wings. So shout out, shout out, shout out to her. Um, I did not have a graphic for her, so I'm trying to make that graphic right now. 
Right now, I just got her name. So my apologies to Miss Carla for that. Oh, can, oh man, they're going fast. Kinetic selection is in. Connecticut Sun. Okay. All right, so two back-to-back -back international players. Uh, Layla Lacan is going to the Connecticut Sun. She is a five foot eleven guard, um, and she's hey, she's going to you know she she is she is going to the Connecticut Sun. Layla Lacan. Layla Lacan is going to the Connecticut Sun. All right. So yeah. I mean, I mean, guys, we we. Uh, we saw uh, uh, the NCAA players go early, and now and now it's time for the internationals. It's time for the internationals or the non NCAA players to to make their uh, to make their stamp on um, on the WNBA. So shout out to uh, Layla Lacan. And guys, the next pick, the next pick is uh, the New York Liberty. So uh, I think, I think the New York Liberty is going is going to for sure select Nika Mule. She is a a point guard of the future for this squad, for sure. A point, the point guard of the future. Um, and yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll we'll see who they select. But I I think it's very very likely. That um that we will see, uh, Nika Mule be selected by, um by the New York Liberty. All right, so I got the international photos up here. Sorry about the delay on that. Um, sorry about the delay. So yeah, we we are moving we are moving right along. We are moving right along in this uh in this WNBA draft. You know, um. So yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna see who they who they uh who they get. Um, so yeah, again, um, number one pick, of course, it was Caitlin Clark, of course, a number two pick, uh, going to uh, the LA Sparks. It was Miss Cameron Brink, um, from, uh, the, the, uh, the Stanford Cardinals, uh, for the number four pick for the LA Sparks, they select Tennessee's very own Miss Rakia Jackson. The, for the number fifth pick, the Dallas Wings select Ohio State's own and Ohio native J.C. Sheldon. Uh, for the sixth pick, the Washington Mystics select Canada's own and also the Yukon Husky herself, Miss Aaliyah Edwards. Um, for the number seventh pick, my Chicago Sky select the Bayou Barbie herself now, Chi-Town Barbie. Uh, in Angel Reese for the number eighth pick, the Minnesota Lynx select Alyssa Peely for the number six or for the number ninth pick, the um, the Dallas Wings select Carla Leet. She is a a a, a point guard from France. Um, for the number tenth pick, the Connecticut Sun select Layla Lacan. She is a guard from France. All right. So those are the picks so far right now. The New York Liberty are on the clock. Oh, I skipped three. Oh my goodness. How could I skip three with the number three pick in the WNBA draft, the Chicago sky select Camilla, Camilla, Camilla Cardozo, uh, from the South Carolina, the champions, the South Carolina Gamecocks, Oh my goodness, guys, I am so excited about this. I think this draft has turned out exactly the way I wanted it to go. Uh, so how about you? How about you? How excited are you about these picks? All right, how, how excited are you? How is this draft going for you? Um, please, please let me know in the chat. How is it going? 
Um, uh, C Main says Caitlin Clark all day long, no matter what. Um, <laughs> Riv says I know Quita lose my mind. I, I am so excited, guys, because this this is what I wanted, guys. This is what I wanted. Uh, Pretty ugly says Kate Martin is is in the draft. Yeah, yeah. Kate Kate Martin is eligible to, to be drafted. Uh, I think Kate Martin will likely go in the second round. Um, so yeah, I I do think Kate Martin is going to go the second round. Guys, they have the analysis going live in the room. I think it's awkward as they sort of talking about players and then they like, uh, when am I getting, getting my name called? It has to be kind of awkward. It has to be kind of awkward. I'm just saying. All right, the New York Liberty pick is in. Who are they getting? With the number 11th pick, they select Marquisha Davis to the New York Liberty. Let's go. Y'all, old Mrs. Own, Marquisha Davis. Let's go. <laughs> Y'all, I, I did not expect the New York Liberty to select Marquisha Davis, but shout out to her, man. I mean, first of all, first of all, they are getting a straight up bowler. They are getting a girl who who hustles, 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 hustles. And and um also I, I really do think it's 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 a good chance that she makes this roster. I th I think it's a I think it's a really, really good chance that she makes this roster. Um so I got I got the graphic up there. I got the graphic up there. New York Liberty select Ole Mrs. Marquisha Davis. Um, wow, wow. She, she, yeah. I mean, they they did mention it. They did mention it. Um, in in the in the broadcast just now. Um, the the comp of the comp of um of Clea Copper because. It, I would agree. So it, it's a similar thing. So so to me, so to me, you have Rakia Jackson that kind of feels that um that Clea Copper lane, and Marquisha Davis also is a player that sort of feels that lane. She can get on the bounce and get to the rim. Coachio is there. I saw somebody uh, put that comment. Yeah, she's there. Um, Marquisha Davis can play some defense. Marquisha Davis can get to the bucket, and Marquisha Davis doesn't stop. And that's kind of like the ethos. Um, that's the ethos of this old Miss team that um that that uh, that Coach Yo was coaching. They're they're solid home like they're players who can just do a thing and do it well. Um, you know, there's there's not a ton of it's not a ton of fanfare when you talk about Mar Marquisha Davis because she just does her job. She does her job and she doesn't cause any problems. She seems to be a great teammate. And I'm excited about it. I I am I am excited. Like, you know, one thing that for sure Marquisha needs to work on, of course, when she gets to the WNBA. Um I I think that uh she's 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 a, a clear copper like player. Um, but when you when you talk about when you when you talk about um her as a as a the future in the WNBA, I think she absolutely needs a shot. She needs a three point shot. She needs it. Can she shoot a three every now and then? Sure, but her three point percentage is only 23 percent. So that is something that for sure she needs to work on if she wants to have a future in the WNBA. But uh, shout out shout out to Marquisha Davis. And again, this just shows uh, what. Again, I am guys, y'all know this. I am a huge supporter of Coach Yo. I'm a huge supporter of what Coach Yo is doing um with with uh Ole Miss. And I think she's just she's building a very good program. And when you have players get drafted into the first round, I think it just helps to create the create 
it helps to continue the narrative about your program. Um, so guys, we do have the Atlanta Dream on the clock right now. Uh, they do have the twelfth pick. I am projecting uh, Charisma Osborne is their pick, but we will see what happens. I'm I'm projecting Charisma Osborne, but but yeah, we will we will absolutely see. Um, but guys, um, Josh says it could be Nika. It could be. It could be Nika Mule. It could be. Yeah. All right, last pick of the first round. Who is it? With the 12th pick. Oh, Nadio, Nadio Posh from Australia. Okay. All right. The Australian National is going to the Atlanta Dream. Nadio Posh. Nadio Posh is heading to the Atlanta Dream. All right. Uh, the, the Atlanta Dream is getting a little bit international. All right. Nothing wrong with that. And, guys, um, I will be doing some heavy research about these international uh, players um, so I can really, really get a, a feel for who they are. Um, oh, six, three player. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nadio Posh. She, she plays in Australian, uh, Australian league. They show us some clips right now of her. Um, she looks very long. She looks very, very long. She looks taller than six, three or, or six, one, I should say. Wow. And she get the three. Okay. Okay, she plays for the Southside Flyers in the WNBL. All right, so shout out to uh, shout out to Australia. Shout out to Australia. Y'all, she is nineteen years old. Now that's the difference. You have you, Americans cannot join the WNBA at nineteen. You can't. But if you're international, you can join the you can join the WNBA. It's the same thing for the NBA. Like the NBA, if you're American, you've got to go for one year of college. But if you're international, you don't have to. There's a there's a whole double standard that eventually the WNBA has to deal with, and the NBA has to deal with the fact that you can have very very young international players come into the league. Uh, but you cannot do that for the de for um, um, you know Americans, and that's crazy. So guys, my 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 first round is all done. My first round is all done. But yeah, she has a she has a very nice dress on like that. Whoever styled her today, ten out of ten, ten out of ten styling for Nadu Posh. I hope I am saying that her name correctly. I am so sorry if I am saying it incorrectly. Um, but yeah, shout out to, uh, shout out to Australia, uh, the, the Australian player Nadu Posh. Um, again, I, I, I do apologize if I am saying that wrong. I do apologize. Oh, she getting, she getting a little bit emotional thinking about her mind. Like, that's awesome. Oh, I love it. She's shouting at her mom. I love it. I love it, man. I love it. Let's go. Let's go, Miss Posh. Let's go. That was a really lovely interview. That was a, I, I, thought, I thought that was a really lovely interview. Really, really lovely interview. But guys, the first round's over. The first round is over. GN says she'll have plenty of Aussie friends in the W. Absolutely. 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 
Yeah, not sure if it's 10K says, uh, I just noticed the Chicago Sky drafted two bigs and they both wear the same number. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. That is very true. They're going to have to, you know, of course, of course, Camila Cardoso should get first grabs, okay? Um, because she is the number three pick. Uh, so so if if Camilla wants that number, she Camilla's getting that number, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, I am I am so excited. The the Indiana Fever won the draft because they have Caitlin Clark on their team. But I do believe that Chicago Sky won as well. I do. I believe we got the players we needed. We got the players we needed. We got two post players to build our future on because basically all of our uh, the post players we have now they're all going to be basically gone next season. Um, they're only here for for this season, um, and not that much longer. So so guys, I believe we have we have um, really gained a lot. We've really gained a lot. Yeah, Josh, I thought that was a really good interview. I thought that was a really really good interview. But guys, um, I have a question for y'all. Do y'all want me? Do y'all want me to continue um, this for the second round, or are y'all just good, just knowing the first round and what happened? Uh, let me know if y'all want me want me to continue with the second round. Uh, B girl twelve fourteen says the first round had three international picks. Did you anticipate so many? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, guys, we got a lot of super chats. Thank you all so much for all the people who are giving super chats. I really do appreciate it. Um. Let's see. Uh, Mirella, thank you so much for the super chat. They said, seeing this makes me sad that Boston does not have a team. Closest is Connecticut, but still will get hotel to see Caitlin Clark play. Yeah, well, guys, um, uh, M Mirella, I, I hope you know this, but um, the Connecticut Sun will be having a game at, uh, I believe it's TD Ameritrade uh, Arena or whatever, where, where the Celtics play in Boston. Um, the Connecticut Sun will have a game there. This season, so hopefully you know about that. And hopefully you can get tickets to go. Um, but yeah, they do. They will have a game in Boston, so hopefully you'll be able to watch that. But yes, eventually uh, Boston does need a team. Yes, uh, Donna, thank you so much for the super chat. Really do appreciate that. Um, Banji Baby Twenty One says, "Let me buy my Sky tickets now." Yeah, buy your buy your Sky tickets. Buy your Sky. So so if y'all are a Tigers fan or a Gamecocks fan, y'all need to buy y'all tickets for the Chicago Sky. Chicago Sky, we back. We back, baby. We are back. We are back, and we are better than ever. Let's go, Chicago Sky. It's going to take us a while to get there. It's going to take us a while, but, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Michelle, thank you so much for the super chat. Michelle says, I feel like a proud mommy. So glad Angel is going to the Sky. I'll definitely get her jersey, and I'm a Liberty fan. I mean, yeah. Angel's awesome. T-Dub, thank you so much. T-Dub says, okay, Quita, it's on. I'm going to uh, travel uh, from Baton Rouge to Chicago to see Reese play hashtag meetup. Let's go. Trisha, we, we making it happen. We making it happen. All right, Trisha, we making it happen. Um, Des Vintage uh, says, Angel and Camilla, let's go. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Romy, thank you so much for the super chat. Romy says, uh, too excited for you. Definitely rocking with Camilla. Excited for Angel and love Teresa Weatherspoon when I was younger. Yeah. It's a great time. It's a great time to be alive. Thank you so much, Alicia. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that super chat. I really do appreciate that. Alicia says, love you and your mom. Let's go. Y'all, mama is probably ecstatic. I'll call her after the stream is over. I'll call her after the stream is over. Uh, Triple X says, does Kate Martin get drafted tonight? I do believe she will. I believe she'll get drafted in, in the second round. Yeah. Maddie, thank you so much for the super chat. Maddie says, excited for Chicago's Chi-Town Barbie in the house. Facts. Facts. Whoa. Tough Dana 3. Wow. Thank you so much for that super chat. That's a, that's, that's a whole lot. Um, says, I'm so happy for my sparks and your sky. Let's celebrate with a super chat. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tough Dana three for that super chat. Um, triple X says Juju and Paige in this draft. How high <laughs> if they were in this draft? Oh, they would be, um, I think they'd be lottery picks. 
Yeah. If they, if they were in the draft, they'd be lottery, uh, lottery picks for sure. The pick is in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Wow. The Chicago Sky select Brenna Maxwell. Wow. I am surprised about that. That's a, wow, you had did the audience sound because they was expecting somebody in the room to get picked. Brenna Maxwell. Brenna Maxwell from Gonzaga. Welcome to the Chicago Sky, Brenna Maxwell. Welcome. Um, I am, I, you know, I've watched uh, them play this year, but um, I guess not too much where I feel extremely, extremely familiar with Brenna Maxwell. But, Brenna Maxwell, Chicago is happy for you. Chicago is excited to welcome you with open arms. Um, and yeah, shout, shout out to uh, shout out to Miss Brenna Maxwell joining the Chicago Sky. Um, Brenna is a guard from Gonzaga. Uh, this season, she's averaged fourteen point two points a game, um, as well as uh, shooting forty six percent from the field. Um, you know, this guy always needs some more shooting. We always need some more shooting. And why not go outside the box? Like, I don't mind that. I don't mind going outside the box and picking a player that people are like, what? A little bit surprised on, but but a player that could that could turn out to be uh that could turn out well and can do some some stuff with us. So yeah. Shout out to uh shout out to Miss Brenna Maxwell. Welcome to Chicago Sky. We are happy to have you and best of luck because as we all know, it's going to be hard to make it, make a roster. It's going to be hard to make a roster spot, but you know, let's, uh, let's root for Brenna that she is successful at it. Cause yeah, we got two bigs in the draft, so we didn't need to get another big. Um, yeah, y'all see, just, just updated the graphic. Number 13 goes to miss Brenna Maxwell. She is a six foot guard from gig Harbor, Washington. I've never heard of that place. Gig Harbor, Washington. All right. Uh, K2 Shy says Sky needs a guard. Yeah, and we got one. We got one. We got one. We got a guard. It's yeah. I, I think I think I think uh, I think it might be possible that Nika Mule goes to, to the storm. I th I thought I thought she was gonna get picked up by. Um, uh oh. Ooh, that's a, that's the wrong graphic. I'm sorry about that, guys. That is the that is not the right graphic. <laughs> that is the wrong. That was that was my projection from uh, from yesterday. And um, I accidentally added it to the wrong thing. My bad, guys. Um, but yeah, guys, I I was a uh, I had some off picks. I had some off picks. Um, but in the end, I am excited about who we have. We have two post players right now, and we are bringing in a guard, which is what we need. Also. Um, now at the podium, Kathy Engelbert with the 14th pick. Select. Nika Mule is headed to the Seattle Storm. Let's go. Nika Mule headed to the Seattle Storm. They they did, you know, you know, having another guard would be very helpful for them. And so uh, you know, shout out to, shout out to Nika. Shout out to Nika, man. And y'all, I feel like everybody there has like really nice outfits on. I think they have really, really nice outfits. So shout out to Nika, um, making her WNBA dream come true, getting drafted to the Seattle Storm. Um, yeah, let's go. And again, she is she is going to try to help to continue on with the legacy of excellent point guards at Seattle. Seattle, you know, they have. An amazing player in Jewel Lloyd. They're bringing Skylar Diggins Smith is now with the program. Now you, I mean, you you have Neka Agumake also with the program, and and with a player like Anika Mule who can learn from the best of the best. I think I think that's a good thing. I think that's a really good thing for uh for for Nika. 
because you're learning, you're going to be learning from Skylar Diggins Smith. Like this is one of the best in the game. One of the best in the game at that point guard position. And you're going to not play a ton of minutes in your, in your first year. You're going to learn, 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 learn. And you're going to be next in line for, uh, for the uh, Seattle storm. So I'm, I, I think, I think that's not a bad pick at all. I think that is not a bad pick. Nika Mule with the 14th pick to the Seattle Storm. Yeah, Carla says good pick. Uh, yeah, it's a good pick. It's a really good pick. Um, she code says, oh, I like this for Nika. Yeah. 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 KS says uh, everybody's suited and booted. They are. Y'all all they all look good. They they all they all dress to the nines, classy. I love it. I love it. Long gone are the days of the WNBA drafts with like, you know, them not looking like they uh, uh got suited by a stylist or whatever. All all these ladies, you know, it's it's the social media area. So they they all they all making sure they they uh they come correct. <laughs> Arenda says, just found your channel recently and love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Zangerstein says, I feel bad for DeAsia. I mean, the thing is, it's not, for me, it is not about what pick you're in. It's not about that. It's not. It's, it's, it's about what team drafts you and if you can feel a need for them. It doesn't matter if you're, um, if you're the fifth in the pick. Uh, you're the fifth in the draft and the team doesn't need you and they wave you in, in training camp. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying about JC Sheldon. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just picking it as, a, as an example. Um, but it doesn't matter what pick you're at. It matters. It matters about um, uh, who actually picks you, who selects you um, to their program. So that's, that's my thing guys. So yeah, sure. Um, you know, I, I'm sure the players who haven't got picked yet are, are, are bummed about it and they're waiting for their name to be called. But ultimately, guys, it's about going to the right place. Kentucky Lucky says Storm wanted her. That's their num their first pick. Yeah. Yeah, that's their first pick. Yeah. Uh, GM Phillips says, be nice, Cleta. I hope I hope I wasn't wasn't being mean. I, that's not my intention. If if uh, yeah, uh, the Indian Fever with the fifteenth pick. Who are they selecting? Get Deja Fair. What are you getting? Celeste Taylor. All right. All right. Celeste Taylor is heading to the Indiana Fever. Y'all, Celeste Taylor is a defensive, like, she's a master class at defense. She's a master class at defense. Shout out to her. I, I think, I think it, it Indiana is a, is a team that, that does need more defense. Uh, they, they do. And I'm happy that they recognize that. Um, and they can get Celeste to join their squad. Um, because you know, I, I think, I think she could have a promising career again, again, guys, it's going to be so important for these players not to be like, okay, my job's over. I got drafted. It's not just about getting drafted. It's about actually uh, making a roster. And I do believe it's possible that, um, that, um, Celeste Taylor could uh, make the roster because they need defense. They need defense. Um, and not only that Celeste Taylor, actually, she can score too. She can get to the basket and score as well. So it's it's not like it's not like she's only defense. Um, but they need they need defense too. So uh so let's go back to the super chats. I, I really do thank y'all so much for all these super chats. I really do. Appreciate that. Uh Mirella says, thanks for the tip about T D Garden in Boston um and the Sun. First year supporting the WNBA, you have a depth of knowledge. Thank you so much. I, 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 again, guys, my my life really is my regular job, church, and women's basketball. Like that's that's what I do. So like, yeah, I, I, I consume a lot of a lot of that material. 
Um, and yeah, so so yeah, hopefully you're able to go to that go to that game. Yeah, um, but the, the sun the sun the the Connecticut sun. Um, don't don't add the s to it. They get they get upset when you add the s to it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, since you're new to the WNBA, I wanted to just let you know that. Um, so the Connecticut sun don't like when people say the Connecticut suns and adds s to it. Um, at the end. So so yeah, just when you go to the game, when you go to the game, um, in Boston. Uh, at TD America, uh, TD at the TD Garden. Um, when you go to that game and support the Connecticut Sun, just remember Sun, not Suns. I think they made a video about it a while ago about <laughs> about that. Um, Sherry, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, J Spot Network, thank you so much for the super chat. Says Quita, I'm coming to Chi Town. All right, come come through, come through, come through. All right. Donna says Chicago will face Caitlin on June 1st. That game, um, that's the game we should go see. I mean, I'll go see. I'm seeing every game. Um, but yeah, if 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 you all if if you all want to do a particular meetup um, after or before that um, Indiana Fever versus Chicago Sky game, let's do it. All right, um, let let's do it. Um, and maybe maybe what I could also do is is maybe before y'all ticket before y'all get y'all ticket. Well, actually, now that game is probably might be sold out. Um, per, that game actually probably will be sold out very soon. Um, but yeah, if y'all let me know what sections y'all are in or whatever, then maybe I'll do the do the rounds at like halftime or whatever, um, and say what's up. Uh, Jacqueline, thank you so much for the super chat. Really, really, really do appreciate that support, um, guys. I I thank y'all so much for rocking with me, man. We are we've been at this for about an hour and thirty minutes. Um, and I'm not trying to jinx my technology, but sometimes I start having issues around this time. Um, so let's hope we continue on. Um, uh, but guys, I, uh, yeah, I do appreciate y'all support. Um, we, ba we about to have, I am as a sky fan, as a sky fan, we are about to have a great, um, we're about to have a great season. We're not going to be the best. We're not even going to be that great this season, um, but we we are we are making building blocks, building blocks, building blocks, building blocks. Okay, um, we're we're making we're doing building blocks to what ultimately will be a WNBA champion, another WNBA championship for the Chicago Sky. So it, it's coming. It's going to take us a little while to get there, but I'm excited about it. Um, Shania says, I will be attending the June 23rd Sky versus Fever game. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Shania. All right. So, so we gotta, we gotta do a, we gotta do a meetup. We gotta do a meetup. Okay. We gotta do a meetup. Uh, self-made Rich says, why do y'all want Kate Martin with, with Caitlin Clark so bad? These are grown women. They can't follow each other for life. I mean, fair point, fair point. Um, but I will, I will also say like, I, I think when you, when you get a number one pick, um, you want the player to be extremely comfortable. I think Caitlin's going to be comfortable and she's going to be fine at, um, at, um, with the Indiana fever. But I will say if the Indiana fever has their pick in the third, third round and Kate Martin has not already been picked up. I, I do actually still think it's possible that Kate Martin will get picked up in this in the second round. But if she does not, I could I could see I could see them selecting um, uh, Kate Martin in the third round for Indiana. Um, but yeah, Rube says Quita, you nailed a lot of these picks. I know, I know. <laughs> Because uh, I, I know me some basketball. I know me some basketball. I guess, again, we had three picks, three picks um, in the first round for um, international players. And, guys, I didn't talk about those international players. I didn't because I didn't quite know them. Um, so, so those, of course, I got wrong. Uh, but, guys, if y'all can do what Carmela just said, Carmela is asking y'all to hit that like button. If y'all get that like button for me, that would be phenomenal please 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 hit that like button um we are at we got 700 people in the chat a little bit over that um cic says does mr president have a chicago sky jersey no he's not one of those dogs he's not and no offense to those dogs or those dog owners who, who buys outfits for their dogs 
Um, somebody, somebody like got me a Christmas present as like a coat for Mr. President one year, and, I, and he hates it. He's he's not a he's not one of those dogs. He he doesn't he doesn't like it. So no, he does not have a sky uh, a, a sky jersey. No, I don't even think they, I don't even think they have sky jerseys for dogs. But even if they did, no. One, I'm not I'm not buying a um. I'm not buying no dog uh, uh, an outfit. <laughs> if somebody gives it to me, okay. But I'm I'm not I'm not buying no dog an outfit. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we do have we do have the um, the Las Vegas Aces uh, with the fifth fifteenth pick. And guys, I'm gonna just say this right off the bat. Whoever is getting drafted to the Las Vegas Aces, good luck. That's gonna be a that's gonna be one of the hardest rosters to make. One of the hardest rosters to make is gonna be with the Las Vegas Aces. But um hopefully, you know, whoever they draft is able to um make it happen um and, and make a roster. But it's gonna be and guys, in general, it's gonna be hard to make these rosters. It's gonna be hard. Um, but yeah, I, and guys, I, I will say this, make sure y'all are supporting, make sure y'all are supporting, um, your players, the players that you're rooting for in women's college basketball, support them as they go into the WNBA. Uh, please support them. Um, uh, please support them during the training camp. Um, because it's not over. Yes. You got drafted and yay. Excitement, excitement, excitement. But, but yeah, it's it's very exciting. It's very exciting about um, getting drafted, but the work's not over. You have to make a roster, and it's going to be very hard to make a roster. Very hard. Uh, lots of talk about Bree Beal in the chat. Yeah, she is. She does have a training camp roster spot. Um, she does have a training camp roster spot for the Las Vegas Aces. Um, it would be cool to see uh to see Deja Fair go to the Aces. But again, it's not about it's not about just getting drafted. It's about where you go. Um, so we we gonna see we gonna see uh, who who the Las Vegas Aces draft. But guys, uh, let me just know, y'all. Let me let me. Oh man, all a lot of the crowd left already. Wow, that sold out crowd left right after the first round. They show they show in the crowd right now, and it's not that many people left. Wow. Um, girls, girls, uh, Daddy says uh, they sleeping on Deja Fair. Yeah, but again, it's about it's about going to the right spot. Let's see, the sixteenth pick is in, and with that pick. The Las Vegas Aces select DeAsia Fair is off the board. DeAsia Fair is off the board, and they, um, the the Las Vegas Aces, they select DeAsia Fair from Syracuse. Guys, I think I think uh, I think this is huge. I think this is absolutely huge because DeAsia Fair can score. This lady, she can score, 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 score the basketball. And I'm excited for her. I am excited about her. And yes, Jonathan, yes, Jonathan, she is short. She is short. However, however, I, I think I think she can make some stuff happen. I think she can make some stuff happen. I really do. I really do. Um because Deja Fair is a player who understands that they're short. She's not she's not confused about it. She knows how short she is, but she still is able to score bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket. Um and if she makes the roster, which 
she has a chance to make the roster. Um, if she makes the roster, I think I think she could have a really good career in the WNBA. I really do, because she can score. She can score. You know, she's averaged twenty two points, uh, twenty two point three points a season. You know, um, and and she she knows how to uh, she knows how to make the right moves. You know, she's like, okay, well, I'm a draft for this one. You know, or and then she's like, okay, I'm I'm about to pull it up. I'm about to. Play. There were there was games this season where literally Deasia Fair, she took the game over. Syracuse wasn't looking like they was gonna win. All of a sudden, bucket Deasia Fair once again. Bucket Deasia Fair three point shot after three point shot, getting to the rim, scoring that way. Another three point shot, getting fouled, making those free throws. Like Deasia Fair. She can score in bunches. And that makes me so excited to, to watch her play. Um, and yes, she's small. She's only five foot five, but y'all, she plays big. She plays very, very big. And I do, I do believe that um that um you know she can uh she can make some stuff happen. Uh, Lamel, um, says, Quita, I was watching a Sky game from home last year and I thought I heard a voice that sounded like yours telling the coach to call a timeout and he did. I mean, y'all, it probably was me. It, Cause I, I'm, 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 I'm not that far from behind the bench and I do be yelling. I do be saying, call a timeout, put this player in the game, do this, do that. That's what I be saying. The 17th pick is in. Oh, all right. All right. The New York Liberty with the seventh pick, 17th pick picks as Mary Martinez from Arizona. All right. All right. Now with the 18th pick, the Las Vegas Aces. Whoa! Wow! Let's go, Kate Martin! Wow! Kate Martin to the Las Vegas Aces! Wow! Yeah, I'm excited for Kate Martin. I I am, and again, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to make a roster. However, Kate Martin is a is a is a she, they called her they called her the glue for a reason. They called her the glue for a reason. Um they call her the glue because she can do just about anything that a team needs her to do. If you need her to score, she can do that. If you if they need her to play some defense, she can do that. And guys, I'm excited about her. I am I am very very excited about her going to um to the Las Vegas Aces. Again, um, I, I, I hope that she's able to, um, like really, really get after it, um, in terms of, uh, you know, being able to make that roster. Um, uh, but you know, shout out, shout out, shout out to, uh, to, uh, you know, Iowa's own Miss Kate Martin, the number 18th pick in the WNBA draft, um, Wow. All right, Kate. Okay. She, you know, that was, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really like that question. I don't really like that question. <laughs> Wow, Kate Martin going to uh, going to Las Vegas Aces. Becky uh, Becky Hammond knows what she's doing. Becky Hammond knows what she's doing. She's building she's building a roster that can uh, that can be deep. 
Uh, I am Joe says, uh, how have you doing? Yeah. Person, I really didn't like that question. I didn't, I didn't like that first question about, oh, you supporting your teammate, teammate. And, and I, I said, y'all should move her down because she might get called. Like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't like that personally. I, I, didn't, I didn't like the way that question was asked. I'm just saying. I didn't, I didn't like it. But uh, but shout out, shout out to Kate Martin. Uh, B girl twelve fourteen says, "Do you think she'll get to play?" Realistically, no. I th I think I think she'll um, she'll um, you know, make some stuff happen in training camp. Eventually, get waived, go to another team, and then and then um, see what she can do in terms of a hardship hardship contract or something something like that. The thing is, most of these players that get drafted today will never play. They they'll 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 make some stuff happen in the uh in the um in in the uh training camp, you know. They'll they'll show what they can do. GMs talk, so it's possible that, you know, you may get waived and then brought back by somebody else. And again, guys, we talk about this all the time. There are so, 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 so many um uh so many players who get injured every single year. Uh, so it's possible that, you know, we'll see something else happen. Um, but yeah, guys, we are in. Uh... Oh, they already made the picks. Wow. So, uh, so the 19th pick went to Tiana Jackson at Kansas, so um, the Connecticut Sun have selected Tiana Jackson from Connecticut. Uh, the in the twentieth pick in the WMA draft, uh, the Atlanta Dream have selected Isabel Borlace from Australia for the twentieth pick. Uh, for the twenty-first pick in the WMA draft, um, the Washington Mystics have selected Kayleen Trong. Uh, for the 22nd pick in the WNBA draft, the Connecticut Sun have selected Helena Puyo, uh, Puyo, Puyo, I'm sorry, Helena Puyo from Arizona. All right. So we are on to the 23rd pick in the WNBA draft. We are on to the 23rd pick. Jessica Carter has been selected by the New York Liberty for the 23rd pick in the WNBA draft. Um, now we are on to the 24th pick in the WNBA draft. We are on to the 24th pick. Guys, we have had so many picks that have come through so far. Tiana, Tiana Jackson, Isabel Borlace, uh, uh, Kayleen Trong, Helena Puyo, and Jessica, Jessica Carter have all been selected. Um, none of them are at the, uh, at the um, uh, draft itself, so that's why they are not showing it on TV. Uh, guys, Charisma Osborne and... Um, Elizabeth Kitley are still on the board. The thing about Elizabeth Kitley, the reason why she's fallen so much is because she is out and uh, teams have to be willing to sit on her for, um, for a year. All right, so it's either, all right, 24th pick is in, Las Vegas Aces select. Wow, okay. So the Aces have selected Elizabeth Kitley. Smart move by the Aces because, guys, Candace Parker's probably her last season. Should Likely should be her last season um, in the WNBA. And now they're getting Kitley. Of course, they're going to have to sit on her. Um, she's not going to be able to play uh, this season. However, that's okay. Um, that's fine. You don't need another post player this season. Um, so I, I actually don't. I actually don't dislike that pick at all. I think it's a pretty good pick. I think I think it's a pretty good pick uh, because you know she's gonna she's gonna be a great pro. You know she's gonna be a really really good pro from what we've seen her play in college. Um, it's going to translate when she goes to the WNBA. Yes, she has to sit out a year, but that's okay. That is okay. That is very, very much okay. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, the future, the future of the Las Vegas Aces is going to be good because, because now you have your next post player in Elizabeth Kidley. It's, it's, it's genius. I mean, honestly, like the, the Aces are smart. Very, very, very smart in making the selection that they did. Very smart. Yeah, it's uh guys, that's that's smart. That's smart. Um so yeah, shout out shout out to uh shout out to Miss Kitley. Shout out to Kitley. Um, sorry guys, I'm I'm trying to catch up on the graphics. I I I do apologize. I'm trying to catch up on the graphics. All right. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Uh, her parents came up and gave her a hug. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was that was that was that was pretty sweet. So yeah, guys, this has been a um, it's been a pretty good draft. This has been a pretty pretty good draft, guys. Uh, we got one one more person left to get drafted. Um, in the room today, one more person left to get drafted, and that is Charisma Osborne. Hopefully, she is drafted soon, very early in the third round. Um, but yeah, she is the last, the last player, uh, to get that, that will need to get drafted in, um, in the, uh, in the room. So guys, I am, I am trying to update my graphics right now. I do apologize. We are at the end of, we are at the end of the, uh, the second round right now. Um, but yeah, guys, let me, let me know, let me know what your, what your thoughts are so far for this draft. Um, I have seen some, there was some, some surprises that I was, I personally was not expecting. Um, but ultimately, ultimately WNBA players got, WNBA teams got a lot better in this draft. WNBA teams got a lot better in this draft. Um, and now it's time to work. Now it is time for these players to work um, because yes, you got drafted. Woohoo. Very exciting. You, you know, you're hugging your parents and you're having a good time and whatnot, but, but ultimately it's time to work. Now it is, it is time to work. All right. I think I got my graphics all. Up to date, guys. Yeah, we are at the end of the second round, okay? The end of the second round. What a draft it has been, guys. Like, I am like, again, I'm still riding high. I'm still riding high. So here are the other, uh, the second, second round, second round picks. Uh, thank y'all so much for hitting that like button. I really do appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. Phineas Mercury is getting their first pick of the day. Shout out to LSU Tiger 2. Thank you so much for the super chat. Says Kate Martin getting drafted by the Aces is a publicity stunt. 
Um, you think so? I mean, I, I don't know. I guess it could be, but I don't. I don't think so. I, I don't think. I don't think um, that Becky Hammond cares for for her publicity stunts. I, I don't think she cares for publicity stunts. Stunts, to be honest with you. Um. So yeah. But guys, once once uh once Charisma Osborne is drafted, we are going to end this live stream. Uh, that's the last player that's in the room. Uh, all right, Charisma Osborne is getting drafted to the to the uh, to the Phoenix Mercury. Charisma Osborne is off the board, heading to the Phoenix Mercury. For the 25th pick in the WME draft, the Phoenix Mercury select Charisma Osborne. Charisma um, has been a phenomenal player with UCLA this season. Um, hopefully, y'all have seen her play uh, this season. She she's a she's a guard that can score. Um, she's a guard that can get her her teammates involved um, and and really just make some stuff happen. And um, I'm I'm excited about her. You know, you look at Phoenix. They got a lot of pieces that came in this year. A lot of pieces that came in. Now, now you got now you got yourself uh, someone who can just shoot. You got just you got yourself someone who could shoot and someone who could play some defense. So I th I think uh, I think that's a pretty good good pickup and that's a great steal in the third round. Think about this: a third round pick, Charisma Osborne. That's a steal for Phoenix. So they. Uh, They've lucked out on that one. Okay, so guys, let's run through. Let's run through what we have. Okay, um, let's let's run through the picks. Okay, uh, uh, just stay with me for a second as we run through all the picks, and then we are going to get your final word as we're going through all the picks, guys. Uh, for for the draft so far, if y'all can um, if y'all can give me a final word that y'all would sum up this draft by, give me a final word. Okay. Um, so for the first pick in the draft, we have Caitlin Clark going to the Indiana Fever. We have in the second pick, Cameron Brink going to the LA Sparks. With the third pick, we have the Chicago Sky picking up Camilla Cardozo. Uh, with the fourth pick, we have the LA Sparks picking Rakia Jackson. Uh, with the fifth pick, J.C. Sheldon is going to the Dallas Wings. With the sixth pick, Aaliyah Edwards is going to the Washington Mystics. With the seventh pick, Angel Reese is headed to my Chicago Sky. Uh, with the eighth pick, Alyssa Peely is going to the Minnesota Lynx. With the ninth pick, the Dallas Wings have selected Carla Leet from France. With the tenth pick, um, we have uh, Layla Lacan going to the Connecticut Sun. With the eleventh pick, Marquisha Davis is heading to Old Miss uh, with, or not, no, she's not heading to Old Miss, from Old Miss, heading to the New York Liberty. With the 12th pick, Nadu Posh is going to the, um, the Atlanta Dream. So that is your first round of picks. First round of picks right there. The second round, Brenna Maxwell headed to the Chicago Sky. Nika Mule headed to the, um, the Seattle Storm. Uh, for the 15th pick, Celeste Taylor is headed to the Indiana Fever. DeAsia Fair is headed to the Las Vegas Aces with the 16th pick. Esmery Martinez is headed to the, um, the uh, New York Liberty. Kate Martin is headed to the Las Vegas Aces with the 18th pick. Tiana Jackson with the 19th pick is headed to the Connecticut Sun. Isabel Borlace, Borlace is headed to um, the Atlanta Dream with the 20th pick. Uh, Kayleen Trong is headed to the Washington Mystics uh, with the 21st pick. With the 22nd pick, Helena Puyo is headed to the Connecticut Sun. With the 23rd pick, the Indiana Fever, or not the Indiana Fever, <laughs> the New York Liberty have selected Jessica Carter. Uh, with the 24th pick, 
Elizabeth Kinley is headed to the Las Vegas Aces. And with the 25th pick in the WMA draft, Charisma Osborne is headed to the Phoenix Mercury. So those are the picks so far. We do have the 26th pick that just came in. Mackenzie Holmes is headed to the Seattle Storm. For the 27th pick, Leilani Correa is headed to the, um, the Indiana Fever. Mackenzie Forbes, USC's own, is headed to the uh, Los Angeles Sparks with a 28th pick. Jazz Shelley from Nebraska is headed to the Phoenix Mercury with the 29th pick. And guys, this is where we will end it here. I do want to just say I thank y'all so, so much for rocking with me. Uh, we're going to see what, 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 are y'all, um, um, what are y'all thoughts about this, uh, this season so far. Uh, Roderick says Osborne should came out last year. I mean, well, it is what it is. Uh, ASU says is the one word phenomenal. Okay. Uh, Zangerstein um, says final words, fever, spark, sky, facts. Uh, Eugene says only three teams did well. I mean, yeah. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, Zoro says Carla Leet is a steal from France. Okay, we will see. We will see. Um, Zangerstein says D Wade actually tweeted that uh, this is their plan, a building block for the sky. Yep. Yeah, this is a, this is a great building block for us. Eugene says Mystics tanking probably. I mean they're gonna try to get uh, Paige Beckers next year, so it makes sense. Uh, CSC says, Mr. President is celebrating at the, the end of the draft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's probably like, play with me, play with me. Yeah, this was very fun. I, I really do uh, I really do uh, appreciate y'all for, um, for rocking with me. I, I really do. Like, this has been a fun time. And guys, y'all could be anywhere in the world. Y'all could be anywhere on YouTube, but y'all are here with me. And truly, guys, I, I, I truly do appreciate um, the support that y'all give to me. Um, I, I really do. Um, it truly it truly is amazing. And Ozzy says, don't forget to like. Yeah, please hit that like button before, before y'all leave out. Yeah, Goro says the Sky legit drafted a big three. I, I'm excited about the Chicago Sky. I'm excited. Jonathan says, Peely, the best player in this draft. I mean, Peely is phenomenal. Not the best player in the draft, but she's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Guys, the Minnesota Lynx have selected with the 31st pick. They have selected Kiki Jefferson from Louisville, okay? Kiki Jefferson from Louisville um, is going to the uh, Minnesota Lynx. And uh, we have, with the 30th pick, the Washington Mystics have selected uh, N Natasha Plainsons. I don't know how to pronounce her name. She is from Belgium. Josh says, shout out to Belgium. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Belgium. I mean, they got some great women's basketball players, that's for sure. Uh, Jonathan says, Peely has an amazing touch around the rim and she could shoot. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. With the 32nd pick in the WNBA draft, the Atlanta Dream have selected Matilde Villa from Italy. Matilde Villa from Italy. She is a shooting guard. She is a five foot seven shooting guard from Italy. Matilda Villa is the 30, 32nd pick. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like we won. I feel like Chicago won. Yeah, I feel like we won. Mm -hmm. I got what I wanted. I got what I wanted. Absolutely. I, 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 I feel happy. Uh, Carmela says, I just went to buy some tickets for the Sky Games, the Indiana June 23rd. Uh, the bleachers are already, whoa, over 250? Wow. This draft is doing a great job. Love it. Wow. Carmelo, maybe go to another game. I don't know. Man, that's that's a lot of money. Guys, and I, I have pretty, my, my seats are pretty close. 
and I'm not paying that per game to to you know because I have season tickets. And I'm not I'm not paying that amount per game. Um, it's crazy. Uh, Penn State. Penn State's own Ashley Awusu has been drafted to the Dallas Wings for the 33rd pick. All right. We have Abby Shu that has been drafted to the Connecticut Sun for the 34th pick. Uh, Caitlin Davis has been drafted to the New York Liberty with the 35th pick. And the 36th pick goes to Angel Jackson um, going to the Washington Mystics. So we are all we are all done. We are all done. All 36 uh, um, spots have been uh, filled in the WME draft. What a time. What a time to be alive, guys. The fact that um, we are going to be in the heyday of uh, women's basketball. It's awesome. JB says, wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Thank you for your content, Quita. Thank, but, yeah, I, I appreciate you, JB. I, and I, I appreciate all of y'all for rocking with me because y'all really could be anywhere in the world. Y'all really could be. Um, Y'all really could be anywhere. Um, And I I, I do do appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Um, This space is so important. Women's basketball is so important. It is so important for us to have spaces where we can go, not for sensationalism, but for um, just real honest talk about the game. You know, sometimes we say stuff that each other doesn't like, and that's okay. You know, all, all in all, we are um, we are here for the growth of women's basketball, and we're seeing it. We're seeing the growth of women's basketball. So I I am excited that y'all have chosen. Um, there I know there are a lot of platforms. There are a lot of YouTubers, lots of people who were who were, who was live streaming, um, the the draft and and the fact that y'all have um decided to rock with me, is um. Very, very humbling. I, I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate the support. Uh, CAC says, so much fun. Awesome people on the internet. Thank you for creating the space. Quit it. Well, thank, thank you thank y'all for rocking with me. Uh, Don uh, KJB says, thanks for tonight, Quita. Thank, well, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Um, Goro says this may be the draft similar to the Bulls where they got Scottie Pippen and Horace Grant in the same draft. Yeah, this could be this could be the best thing to ever happen to the Chicago Sky. You know, the best thing. Uh, the Phoenix Sun select. Uh, no, no, the, I said the Phoenix Sun. That's the NBA team. The Phoenix Mercury have selected um, Charisma Osborne. Okay, they selected Charisma Osborne. And they also uh, in, in the in the um, at the beginning of the third round, um, they with the twenty fifth pick they selected Chris Osborne. With the 29th pick, they selected Jazz Shelley from Nebraska. Uh, Carmela's one word is invigorating. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Allison says, "Quita, how excited are you about Camilla? I mean, Miss Camilla, Camilla, I'm so excited." I'm so excited. Guys, this like this is what I wanted. I wanted Camilla Cardoso at number three. I wanted Angel Reese at number seven. I got that. I am excited. We have our two. We got the two trees that's gonna be rocking for 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 you know the future for the Chicago Sky. I'm excited. We got our we got our our number one point guard in um in Dana Evans. This is her team, and Dana we trust. Dana Evans, Miss Marina Mabry. With the feistiness as as our two guard, uh, we gonna have Angel Reese. We gonna have uh, Camilla Cardozo. Um, you know Kennedy Carter with the Chicago Sky. We, I'm excited about it. I'm excited. Are we gonna be that great this season? No. I I think we 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 could probably make the playoffs, but uh, to me that's a win. And we're gonna be building for the future. We're gonna build for the. We're gonna have our three core players. Dana, Camilla, Angel, core core players to build around, and it, it's about to be fun. It's about to be fun. Uh, Sweet Home Bama says, "Quita, so glad your channel was, was recommended. You are legit. Thank you. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, Vix, uh, thank you so much for joining from France. Y'all, you had a couple of uh French uh players get drafted today. So shout out, shout out to France. Shout out to France. 
Uh, Lamel says, you have come a long way, Quita. Great job. I, I mean, I have come a long way. Yeah. Tough Dana says, uh, WNBA came up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Mike W says, Sky got everything. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got what we needed. We got what we needed. Yeah. Yes, uh, Josh, you're right. Yep. Jackson State did get two, uh, two players drafted. Uh, Angel Jackson was the last player in the draft, um, and she goes to uh, the Las Vegas Aces. And, yes, she is from Jackson State, representing for the SWAC. Shout out to the HBCUs. Uh, Jasmine says, Quita, is this a new Sky fan? Welcome in, uh Wait. Is this new Sky fan welcome with open arms? Absolutely. We welcome all. You know, Chicago, the Chicago Sky don't discriminate. We, we welcome all fans. We welcome you. We welcome you to join Sky Town. That's what we call ourselves. Sky Town. That's what we called. All right? So if you want to join Sky Town, you're welcome. You know, um, admission is free in, in, for, for Sky Town. But, but if you join us, if you join us uh, Sky Town... You know, we ride for our players. We ride for our players. Okay. So so that's what you gotta do. And you gotta you gotta you gotta rock with all of the players on the Chicago Sky. Whether you like them or not, you you gotta rock with them, okay? Um, that's cause that's what we do here. But it just so happens that I truly do really, really love um every single player on the Chicago Sky. I, lo I love it. I love it. Um McKenna says, Queen, can you even believe it? Cardoso and Reese absolutely Guys, I, I made a video about it earlier. Y'all remember that video I made? Y'all remember? It's what we wanted. This is what we wanted, man. This is what we wanted. Um, Alex says the Sky Con, the Mercury. I mean, the Mercury got some great players. So I mean, I wouldn't call it a con. I think I think the the Phoenix Mercury got better in the immediate, and we in the Chicago Sky got better in the long term. And for me. I care about the long term. For immediate whatever. But we got picks that will help us in the long term. Uh Shania says, when is your next live cat? I mean, I, I don't know. Um I'm not sure. Um, I'll for sure be live again this week. I'm not sure if it'll be tomorrow. It could be tomorrow. It depends on um it depends on um when I get home from work tomorrow, <laughs> to be honest with you, and how I feel. Um we I might go live tomorrow. Whatever I will I will I will put it in the community tab when I when I go when I go when I go next, okay? Um I'll put it in the community tab. Uh JB says Sarah Scalia from Indiana went undrafted. I'm a little shocked by it. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it sort of is what it is. Uh, GN says, let us know when we all need to come back and complain and moan about who got cut. It's going to happen soon. It's going to happen soon. So, you know, uh, I hope, guys, get your seatbelts, buckle them up, buckle your seatbelts up, because we are about to, we're about to be in for a ride. Because a lot of y'all players who got drafted today are going to get cut. It's 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 the inevitable. So today is a happy day. Absolutely, today is a very happy day. We are excited about what has happened today with the players who got drafted and dreams that came true. However, it's not over. It's not over for these players because they have to still make a roster. And there are 144 maximum roster spots this season. And guys... You know, 144 maximum roster spots. 36 players were drafted today. Most of these players will not make a roster. It's 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 hard to think about, you know. Um, it's tough. But, you know, it, it is what it is. And Kentucky Lucky says, hit that like before you go. Yep, 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 hit that like. Uh, Travis says, thank you, Quita. I know Mama's happy too. She is. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm call her. I'm gonna call her right, right after the stream is over. I wanted to ask her to come over to do the live with me during the during the, during the um uh, the draft, but I was like, actually, nah, that's a little bit too much. I didn't, you know, she she got a busy life. She got a, got a busy life. Alex says Sky fleeced on the Mercury. <laughs> I mean, whatever, whatever this guy did, I'm happy about it. You know, whatever, however y'all want to call that. 
prices are through the roof for the sky. And hey, I'm just happy. I've been a long standing season ticket holder. I wish though, because I guess I, I got I got um I I bought two tickets to every game. I wish I wish I would have thought to buy three tickets to each game. I would because I I know I get I know that when I go to work. I'm going to have people that's going to be like, oh, can I go to a game with you? Oh, can I have a can I go to a game with you? So I'm, you know, I got two tickets to every game and I usually use the second ticket. Um, e either my mom is going or like somebody in my family is going or I'm taking a coworker to go to a game. I, I wish, I wish I would have thought about getting three tickets. I used to have three tickets to every game, but I wanted to say, I wanted to save money this year. So I only went with two. <laughs> I wish I would have went with three. <laughs> too late now. It's too late now. Uh, Peter says celebrate today because tomorrow is not promised. I mean, I mean, that's facts. Tomorrow is not promised. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, Charles says, do you think the top 10 uh, are guaranteed a spot based on the exposure? I don't, I don't think it's based on the exposure. No, I don't think, I don't think that's what it is. I, I think, um, I believe that the top eight picks will make it. So again, I, I am not going to commentate on the ninth and 10th pick because those are two players from France that I, I'm not very familiar with. I'm not very familiar with, so I don't want to speak on that. Um, but I do believe that the first eight picks are going to uh, are going to um, make make the roster. Now beyond that, I th I think it's going to be I, I think I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of hard work cut out for them for sure. Uh, Sharon says, "Heard that honesty Scott Grayson didn't get selected. I mean, yeah, it is it is tough, but but guys, you know." It's likely that honestly Scott Grayson will sign as a um, as a uh, uh, training camp contract, so it is it is possible to uh, not get drafted and still make it into the WNBA. Guys, remember, remember um, when you look at when you look at a team at, at, a, at a player like Becky Hammond. Becky Hammond wasn't drafted. She wasn't drafted, um, and she still ended up uh, making it into the league and having a successful career that lasted a long time. You know, she's a great player at, uh, at with the New York Liberty and then really came into her own when she went to the uh, San Antonio Silver Stars, now the Las Vegas Aces. Um, it's possible. It is absolutely possible for um, for someone to not be drafted and still make it. So that's the thing. But, guys, Mr. President is telling me it is time to go. I do appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all so, so much for rocking on y'all way out, if y'all could hit that like button, that would be phenomenal. I will join y'all very, very soon for another live stream this week. Until next time, guys. Bye, y'all.